It stands commandingly upon Stag Hill, Guildford Cathedral. And in the royal presence, it was to be consecrated since the Middle Ages, the first cathedral in the south of England to be erected on a new site. And when finished, a noble temple of the Christian faith. Twenty-five years have passed since Archbishop Lang laid the foundation stone. Now, as Queen and congregation waited, the Bishop of Guildford knocked on the west door with a pastoral staff to be admitted into the new cathedral. For the Church of England and Guildford itself, it was a proud moment, the translation into reality of what 25 years ago was only a vision. In accordance with the ceremony of consecration, with a builder's pencil, the Bishop marked the North Pier with the sign of the cross in token that the building shall be devoted to the service of Almighty God. When the sentence of consecration was read, it was signed by the bishop. Of the other four signatories, the first was the queen herself. It is gratifying to Christians that in an age often too materialistic, we have built Guildford Cathedral.